Hey guys, it is JMO here. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to be doing um, an Ask Me Anything. I posted about this, oh dear, um, four, four days ago? Yeah, four days ago. Um, I wanted to get some honest questions and in the past we haven't had uh, too many people ask the pressing questions purely because it was not anonymous. Um, so I thought the best way to be um, honest would be anonymous questions um, instead of forcing people to put their name behind their question. Um, we've also put out a forum about new Adraxia game modes, which I very much um, encourage you to fill out because um, it is offering us a lot of important information that I'm very curious about and hopefully it can lead to some pretty fun activities in the future for all of you um, so be sure to do that there is three people that will win an award of 20 ataraxia dollars and five death touch darts um, so go do that it takes maybe three minutes and you have a chance to win those now getting into the ask me anything i'll hopefully put like an overlay of the question on the screen um really challenging my oh dear i'm using Porters here, I think. Yeah, that was done. Um, I'm really challenging my editing capabilities by attempting to do this, but we will do it. Um, there's only 15 questions, and most of them are decent, and then there's a few ones that are just kind of irrelevant. Um, probably the most predictable question to come is how much do you make? Um, and if no answer to that, do you play secret accounts? Um, I make a decent amount recently it's been a little bit less um i wouldn't say i've like I've, I've made enough to cover rent and cost of living but mostly um it's been fairly even recently but i'm i mean i'm used to the ups and downs of income um there has been some months so anorexia makes a pretty steady amount um i can get the exact facts up on my phone right now um i mean it's no secret that rsps's are pretty profitable um, Adaraxia itself is very volatile because we obviously don't sell directly. We well, we don't sell items, so there's no consistent stream of income unless people are joining. Um, let me have a look here. So yeah, we're making a decent amount. It's maybe like as much as uh, someone who was working in a corporate job would make. Um, but obviously that's split between Armar and I, and it, it definitely varies heavily. Um, so for example, the last couple of months, I haven't made much at all, um, but uh, you know, it, it, it is what it is and it goes how it goes. Um, but that's why we've released or re-released the rare mystery boxes and added a couple of new perks, um, just so I'm not going into Christmas broke. Um, but previous years I've made a decent amount um, once again, like post tax, I think I'd probably make about the same amount as someone doing a nine to five. Um, fortunately, I'm in a decent position where I work for myself and I don't have to really worry about answering to anyone. Um, but then it also bears the burden of having to uh, live my life depending on how well the server is doing, which can be quite stressful. Um, but at the end of the day, that's what I got myself into. and that's the price I pay for having such a free um, working situation. Um, but yeah, I, I'd like typically I would pull um, in my local currency anywhere from 50 to 80,000 a year um, post tax, which is pretty good. Um, it keeps me going. Uh, and obviously some years or some months are better than others. And yeah, there's obviously some seasonal um, differences um, for games like this because if people aren't home if it's like summer in the northern hemisphere we tend to uh, get a little bit quieter and then in these months where it's pushing towards winter and the holidays that's when we uh, get much more people um, so yeah it's, it's very varying um, I can't really put like a pinpoint on how much I earn um, I could on armor but I'm not going to release that information um, because that's quite unfair um, but I, I will I'm make enough to be comfortable but obviously sometimes it's less than other other times and um 
yeah, I think over the next few months you might see a bit more monetization, um, hopefully in good ways instead of just like straight up selling stuff. But yeah, um, and do I play secret accounts? I I don't. I mean, I have Iron Chode. It used to be a secret account, but it's it's not anymore. Um, I used to back way back in the day, like four or five years ago, I used to play secret accounts and just play those um, for fun. Um, but now. I think it's less so um, a loss of passion for Adaraxia, but more so a loss of passion for RuneScape in general. Um, for playing, that is. I um, obviously it's like sort of the. I don't know if you guys have seen the Wizard of Oz, but it's like the when they pull the curtain on the guy that's like speaking to them. Um, it kind of ruins everything when I see behind the curtain, and yeah, it's it's not the same. Um, I I wish it was, and I'm sure there's a lot of content I could make on. Um, maybe challenges and stuff, but I mean, it's difficult to make Iron Chode videos because a lot goes into every episode. Um, and it, it's similar to RSP, oh not RSPS, but RS or OSRS um, or RS3 YouTubers where I'm at the point where I could spend hours and hours for a, a 20 second clip and it's just, yeah, it's difficult to manage and that's why um, I don't really make iron show videos anymore but yeah no secret accounts um i used to but it's too much effort and yeah um are you actually an aussie i am um i grew up in england more i, well, I was born in australia moved to england when i was very young and then moved back um when i was 11 so yeah i've i've spent time in in both situations um, i much prefer it in england based on the weather um, as I am recording this, it is currently 32 degrees and I am sweating. Um, but yeah, um, I like both places. Um, but it's nice to have dual citizenship. Seeing that the perk tree is a pretty custom design in game, how custom are you wanting to take the server? I personally, I fucking love customs. I think they make it so much more entertaining. Um, the perk tree was probably my favorite thing we've ever added. And I think there's so much more expansion that we can do with that concept. Um, because the tree cur currently is obviously quite limited to what you can do, but obviously we have the capability on expanding it and making new trees. And um, just because that one is formed that way doesn't mean we can't add another that's formed a different way and has different um, benefits and stuff like that. Um, the difficulty is being able to add something that is rewarding enough um, that it, it's worth putting time into, um, but also not too rewarding to the point where it just kind of like kills the game. So yeah, it's, it's a difficult balance. Um, custom items are something I really enjoy. Um, I don't, I don't want to do, I don't want to take too much away from the like RS3 experience because I want to keep that, um, pretty firm but obviously I'm happy to add stuff like the perk tree which isn't really in influencing it too much but just making it a bit more enjoyable a bit different um, similar to the trailblazer leagues like the core of OSRS is like still there um, but you have the ability to customize your experience how you want it and that that's where I think customs thrive um, not dictating your experience but just you know customizing it to the point where it's it's more exciting to do any plans to add some offensive abilities? Um, not really. I feel like the those offensive abilities require such like a strength, like a management of adrenaline, and because we aren't evolution of combat, managing that adrenaline is very difficult. There is already a lot of special attacks out there on Adaraxia currently that you would want to use, so it's difficult to be able to justify using a threshold or an ultimate ability. Um, which would consume all of your adrenaline. Um, I don't think they have any place in Adaraxia. Um, the original concept of the perk tree was including Sunshine, Death Swiftness, and Berserk. Um, but I decided those those weren't a great idea because I feel like it kind of devalues special attacks from weapons. Um, and as we aren't EOC, it's so much more difficult to restore your adrenaline because um, evolution of combat you obviously just generate adrenaline as you're in combat um, but here you don't it's a time-based thing so it's much more difficult to be able to 
add all of these different options for consuming it because realistically you're going to have to choose between one or two rather than being able to choose between seven or eight like in the OC. So yeah, I don't think we will add any offensive abilities. Um, have you guys put any thought into starting an OSRS, RSPS? I feel like your team's creative creativity, it would pop off and be pretty neat. Um, I feel like old school RuneScape private servers are really cool. Um, I like a lot of them. I've played a fair few of them. Um, I get bored pretty quickly though because uh, OSRS isn't like something I love to do um, because it's basically something I've done for the last 15 years consistently. Um, I think there is many more avenues that I'd like to explore before that. Uh, Amar and I have obviously talked about old school RuneScape private servers. Um, he's always really wanted to get into it. Um, but I just feel like it, it's such a um, already, um, like there is so many old school RuneScape private servers out there that have so much unique content um, that is, it would be so difficult to get your foot in the door. And I don't really want to be putting in a lot of effort to start in a server that isn't popular or isn't as popular as Adaraxia. And then at the same time, if we were to do that, Adaraxia would probably um, quieten down a bit. And I don't really want to do that because Adaraxia is always going to be my main focus. And I don't want to split focus between two things and then have the same outcome on both. Um, I'd much rather have like 46 people on Adaraxia than have 23 people on each server. Um, because it's it's just more stress, more effort, more development required. And yeah, I feel like I'd much rather put all my eggs in this basket rather than splitting them up. That being said, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I really like, I want to explore the potential of a custom version of Adaraxia 926. Um, where there is much more of a linear p progression. Um, I really like RS3, but I really hate how RS3 have handled their itemization. I feel like this whole, um, this weapon's T80, but it has T85 accuracy or T80 damage, um, T92, depending on what you're doing, um, if it's a Tuesday or whatever, similar to the Diablo stuff. Like, I feel like they've added so many niche items that you don't ever really need to think about what you want to do. Or sorry, you have to think about what you want to do so much more than you should. Um, I've always loved really linear progressions like World of Warcraft, um, the later expansions, the other expansions, but obviously um, a little less linear. It was basically pick what is right for your build, but um, Modern Warcraft handles it in a way where it's just item level and the better the item level tends to be, the better the item. Um, same with RuneScape 3, but because they've added so many different items, it's difficult to be like wanting to look for specific upgrades. I don't know. Um, I feel like they've added so many items that there's no real way for us to chime in with our own. That being said, um, yeah, the World of Warcraft way is pretty cool. It's like Raid Finder, um, and then if you go do Normal, you'll get a better item. If you go do um, Heroic, you'll get a better item, and then Mythic, you'll get the best items. And I kind of like that. I've, I've always wanted to explore a custom version of Adaraxia where it's just like that pure linear um, item grind where instead of like a Noxious Staff, it's a Tier 90 Staff, and it, it goes from you know, uh, I wouldn't start too low, but it'd be like T70, T75, T80, T85, T90, T95, T100. Um, so you're really trying to progress linearly instead of this T82, T87. Um, and instead of having it so the bosses just straight up drop the tiers, it would be more of like a, I don't know if you guys have ever played Lunite, but I feel like they're item system is really really good um, for progression and I find that very fun um, where you know what items you're getting next you know your goal you know what you need um, and it's not really luck based it's just time based and I, I kind of prefer that system but yeah I I would love to explore um, Adaraxia custom where we have much more freedom to do that kind of thing um, because Adaraxia 926 or NXT is much more focused on 
giving you a um, RSR experience, which is great. Um, but yeah, I feel like a custom one would be pretty fun. Um, and then that allows us to look into more um, multipliers and additives and um, really expand the perk tree so it's more like Diablo or Path of Exile-esque where you're kind of honing in on a build rather than switching between everything whenever you want. Like I'd love to explore like a blood mage where blood damage um, heals more, does more damage, maybe they bleed over time, like they hemorrhage. Um, and it, it's just like really focusing on sp specific builds rather than dipping your toes in all of them. And I, I love that um, idea in like games like Diablo and Path of Exile where you kind of assume the identity of what you are. So if you're like a barbarian, you're like a hulking whirlwind barbarian um, instead of, oh, you're a barbarian then, but if you go kill Talos, then you're a mage. And then if you go kill Araxor, then you may be a ranger. Um, I, I don't know. I feel like it could be fun to explore a perk tree that really hones in on what you want to be. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's where I'd explore um, other RSPSs. I wouldn't, I don't think I would make an old school RuneScape one, but I mean, I have the Zenite source, so who knows. Um, will there be a necromancer skill? I mean, eventually, I wouldn't put any time pressure on that because I just don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. We have much more things that we'd like to explore before that. Um, and obviously, necromancy doesn't have like a great legacy system, and I'm not sure how valuable it would be, and the balancing would be difficult. Um, we also would require a cache update, which I'm not sure is possible. So yeah, there's there's a lot to um, think about before necromancy. What would be a good Ataraxia end for you? Um, I don't really like thinking about that, to be honest, because then that means I actually have to get a job. Ataraxia is going to keep going. Um, I don't think it will ever end as long as there's enough people to consistently pay for the um, hosting. And the hosting is like, I don't know, 500 a month. So it's not too much. Um, but yeah, I, I, don't, I don't ever see Ataraxia as ending. I don't think we'd ever end unless we're forced to. Um, because even if I give up on it, which I don't think is going to happen, um, I think the torch will just be passed to someone else, and I think Ataraxia will live on for many years to come. Um, will there be a cache update after Elite Dungeons 4? Um, similar to the necromancy question, I don't think uh, it's really possible. Um, so the way Almar has previously done cache updates is through the Java client that uh, RS3 had, but now they don't have one. So I'm not sure how we're going to do that. Um, he has said in the past that it might not be able to be possible, um, but we'll see. Um, we, uh, we hope it's possible and it probably will be because Armar's like, surprises me every single time he does something um, and yeah I, I wouldn't ever doubt it but I wouldn't hold out for it and I wouldn't be expecting it because as I said like there's much more content that I'd like to release before then anyway um, it's the same thing as when we were 916 I'd much rather complete the 916 re revision than go higher than just keep on going higher and adding more content to what we need to add um, yeah. What does the future hold for Ataraxia 2024 plans? Um, I'd love to explore much more PVM content. Um, I want to explore the possibility of a world boss in the wilderness that spawns every um, now and then, or maybe it will have some sort of counter that needs to be reached to be able to spawn it. Um, I would like to explore some sort of dungeon crawler um, where you are constantly facing bosses uh, all around the game. 
So there's a lot of bosses on that Araxia that don't get much love anymore because they've kind of gone out of style because RS3 has just like completely um, destroyed any need to go earlier because you can just kill easier bosses for better items. Um, so I'd like to explore some sort of multi-boss Dominion Tower-esque uh, dungeon crawler except you're fighting multiple bosses at the same time and then at the end you'll get rewards from all of them and maybe something extra and stuff like that. I'd, I'd love to explore that and I've been talking to a few people about that um, before I fully put out the content concept. Um, but that, that is probably my next idea. Um, Grandmaster rank is coming maybe not soon but Grandma Grandmaster rank, rank is probably coming. Um, so that will be in the plans. 2024 will probably bring Zamorak if it's not this month already. Um, and then, yeah, I feel like we might in like look into Yakamaru, Derzag, just just so they're there, not necessarily for the rewards, but we might have to customize the rewards and stuff like that. I mean, there's still so much stuff that we need to add. Um, but yeah, well, it'll take some time, but I think 2024 is is pretty much going to be the same as this one. I, I'm looking at consistent updates, much more content, um, improving existing systems and stuff like that. I'd love to have a have a look into achievements and add any achievements that I feel like aren't really getting um, much attention and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, really just expanding, um, expanding, improving, um, and yeah, lots of stuff. Do you have any plans to bring anything? Uh, do you have any plans to add anything as a loyalty point sink, assuming someone has all auras and no need of cosmetics anymore? Uh, I don't really think so. Like loyalty points are really just like a commodity that you don't care about, I guess. Um, they have obviously obvious requirement to um, unlock auras, but I think past that, it's not that important for um, loyalty points. Um, at the same time, yeah, we could add a store, but I will say the same thing um, to you that I say to every single person who wants more rewards from a certain currency or a store. Um, if you can find items on the beta to put it in the store, I will add it. Um, I, I don't want to go and look at a bunch of items and be like, oh yeah, people will love this and then add the store and then them be like, who gives a fuck about this? Um, so I really would rather have you guys spearheading these kinds of cosmetic shops and stuff like that that you'd like to see and what you'd like to be rewarded with um, because I don't feel like I can properly weigh in or properly understand what you guys would want. Can we get more YouTube videos or streams on YouTube we can watch while playing? There is so much content on the Ataraxia channel already that you could probably keep busy. Um, YouTube videos, I'd like to add more of these kind of videos. I don't feel like Iron Chode is probably going to make a return anytime soon, um, especially over the holiday period. As I said, like a lot of time goes into a very short clip so it's difficult to release episodes and then an episode is 10 minutes long and then it's like okay well now i need another month to make another episode um so it's quite difficult there um i'd love to make more videos i want to explore more guides and stuff like that but it's just difficult because well i'll be honest i'm not a great pvmer so it's hard for me to show people that and then we obviously have um kill cams channel in the discord with where people post their pretty much guides of bosses um so you can check that out they're not official on the channel um but you can check those out um i'm not too sure um but i would love to hear suggestions on youtube videos i feel like i'm pretty much tapped for what i'm what i can bring to the table i mean iron showed was a great series and i'd love to explore it more but i'm not sure if there's much content I can investigate without um, just kind of doing the same thing over and over again. Streams, I mean, that's up to you guys. You guys can make streams. Um, anyone playing right now can stream what they are doing and I'm sure that there will be a few people that watch. Can we make events rotating randomly instead of activated by tokens? Maybe an item sync where 200 mil worth of items dropped 
triggers a random token event with limit being once every two hours. So you're basically suggesting a, a goodwill but for events. Um, no. I, I'm very proud of the event token system and I think it's a great system. Um, the next update will make it so no one is notified other than the player who gets the token. Um, but I feel like we have enough item sync and money sync with the tree and with other things right now that um, it's not really necessary and the reward is so much more than the, the coin value or item value. Um, So yeah, I'm not, I'm not too sure that would be a great idea. I'd, I'd much rather the current system where it's like a lottery kind of, people get event tokens and they can use them if they want or if they're active in that time, it, it's like a reward for them for playing and getting lucky. Um, yeah. Is the top donor considered the server's sugar daddy? Um, I suppose um, I don't really see see it like that. I think the top donor is like someone who consistently supports the server. Um, those kinds of people are very valuable to either actually the people that even if they have everything will consistently like pay um, because obviously we have a lot of people that will come along get diamond or get master and um, then that's like them done. Um, but the people who come along, get done and get master and then keep going, that's the kind of people that really keep Ataraxia going as a whole. Um, we couldn't continue without those kinds of people. Um, because that's where a lot of the, the funding comes from. Uh, it comes from those people who consistently buy stuff as if it's like supporting the server. Um, I wouldn't call them sugar daddy, um, but... I do very much appreciate those people who consistently contribute towards the server because it, it doesn't go unnoticed and while I don't message you privately because I don't feel like that's what people would want, um, maybe some people do based on the question, maybe you do, um, but I don't really, um, yeah, I don't want to bring more attention to it, but I, I do very much appreciate anyone who consistently donates when they don't need to. Where do donations go? So donations go to hosting, myself, and armor. That's basically it. Um, I'm looking into getting a new trailer made for 2024. Um, and that should incorporate a lot of the new content that we've made this year, um, which should be quite exciting. And I think he's also going to make a couple of content videos for Adaraxia. So some money will go to that. Um, pretty much all of what I earn has gone to my crypto portfolio. Um, investment, um, which I might have to withdraw from soon because you guys are holding out on me. Um, just joking, obviously. Um, but yeah, I'm, it would probably be like a, a pretty even split between Armar and I these days. Um, he sent, has recently got a, an a raise, deservedly, um, and... I'd say, yeah, we probably earn similar amounts, if not him a little bit more. And then the rest goes to hosting. As I said, hosting's about 500 to 600 a month um, because that's for the web server and that is for the live server. But other than that, yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. Our finances are very simple. Hosting, um, Cloudflare, Dropbox, um, Uh, yeah, and OVH for hosting, and then it just goes to me and Armar, and then Multiply gets all the PayPal donations. Um, hey, Holographic here. What is going to be like major updates? What should we be looking for? And also, thank you for making such an amazing server and amazing community. Amazing community is debatable. You guys are absolute wankers to everyone, um, and I hope you know, and I hope you're listening to this. Um, but I am very disappointed with how a lot of people treat new players and existing players as well. Um, you guys can't possibly complain, god this is getting serious, but you can't possibly complain about the people not playing the server um, when you are, a lot of you are the reason why people leave. Um, and that is a bit more of a serious note, but I feel like it needs to be said. Um, 
while you guys may be joking, a lot of people don't take it as jokes, and you have to understand that. And you have to act like an actual human being and have a bit of empathy and realize that um, while your actions may not influence anyone, they are Im directly impacting me, multiply and armor. So uh, I'm, I'm all fun for having fun conversation and bantering, um, but just be careful because there is a lot of people that have left recently um, and a lot of new players that have been deterred because you guys are just talking absolute smack. And that doesn't go for a lot of people. That's like 90% of the server is absolutely okay, but that 10%, they're just constantly being idiots in the friends chat. Um, yeah, you guys got to reel it in a bit because um, you're directly impacting my life and Armas life and Multiply's life. So just remember who that is impacting because, yeah. I don't love seeing people leave because while I'm asleep, people are just absolute dicks. Um, so yeah, amazing community, definitely debatable. Um, for the most part, uh, everyone who plays Adaraxia is an extremely valuable person and I appreciate having them here. Um, but yeah, there's just a couple that are ruining it for everyone else, I think. Um, God, I felt like a teacher just then. Uh, what should we be looking for? I, I mostly mentioned that earlier. There's, there's lots of um, custom content that I'd love to throw out in content concepts. Um, I'd like to ex expand on the perk tree. I feel like it's really cool. I'd like to maybe add one that's like a skilling version, but um, intended for newer players as like an, in, an introduction to the perk tree. Um, but yeah, there, there's so much more stuff, more content from RS3 that I'd like to add. And then also we have to consider that there is lots more content um, that we can add that is just custom and there's so many suggestions um, You guys are constantly pumping out suggestions that I'd love to add um, And it's difficult to get on top of them sometimes, but yeah, there is so much more stuff that we can add and improve um, So I think the future is going to be great uh, Major updates though is Amarak um, World Boss as I said is something I'd like to consider um, and then you know by then we'll be in the early stages of 2024 and then it's just who knows what happens then i'm a very um impulsive person so who knows uh, it, everything changes i mean the perk tree was rant like one random thought i had when i was going to bed and i was like wait this would be awesome and then i wrote up the content concept the next day and six months later we added it maybe seven or eight months even could we add could we have more added to the donor shops in DZ for annoying skill secondaries, for example, steel ingots. Um, yeah, I mean, if this person wants to send me a list of what you'd like to see in there, I'd happily consider it. Um, I don't want to devalue a lot of other content um, by just like blatantly adding it to the uh, donor shops because then I feel like it's like. As much as I dislike how RS3 has made it so everything has a process and it takes ages and they're really just keeping on the game by making it everything have this really um complicated process like incense sticks um they designed incense sticks in a way where you're staying on the game or their game for quite a while purely so um you can make them. um while i don't love that i feel like we can't remove a lot of it um especially some of the smaller ones. I'm happy to kind of improve the processes for a lot of stuff that was just obviously trying to chew up your time. Um, but for the most part, I'd like to keep a lot of that stuff because at the end of the day, I want to keep you on at our here as well. Oh, going back to uh, major updates. Uh, I wanted to add Yak Track. Um, I've personally not uh, experienced it on RS3, but it looks like a pretty cool thing. Um, as far as I'm aware, it's basically daily challenges, but like a battle pass-esque um, form. And I think that'd be really cool. Um, I'd like to explore that. And it could be a, a decent like monthly subscription-based money income for us, which would definitely help um, having some consistency. There. Um, that concludes all of the questions. Uh, how long have we got? gone? 34 minutes, not too bad. Hopefully you watch this at 1.5 times speed. Um, yeah, going back to the bit of a rant about the community, I, I, I'm not trying to be a dick, um, and I hope you guys realize that I understand that you're probably not trying to be a dick either, 
you're just trying to have a bit of fun, but just remember um, what everyone wants here is Adaraxa to be uh, a popping off server with heaps of people. Um, and a lot of the time, some of your actions and what you say to people might not go down as you expect and that leads to people leaving. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're playing and messaging in the friends chat. Um, but yeah, overall, most mostly positive. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this.